You're the one who brought us bread. This bread is so good. Fresh pastries, hot and flaky. Hey, heard the new joke about the savior of Nostria? We've heard all the savior jokes already. It's the one with the cat and the dung pit, isn't it? It's a new one. Listen, so the savior's on the road, armored head to toe, sword in hand, the whole bit. Just like a knight from a man. Stop that pushing, or I'll push back. Yeah, I used to ride through here with a lance this long. Good times. Watch it. You rumpled my best suit. Are you in a hurry?
The sentinel golems that were delivered yesterday. They ready for use? Alas, your grace. The tabula with the animating spells is missing. Where is it then? Greetings, my friend. I appreciate your entrusting this conspirator's note to me and not to the spies and assassins. How is Farad's interrogation going? Did you find what you were looking for? I've been to Castle Irock. I'm done there, but the evidence points to a nobleman named DuPont. Ah, DuPont. I never liked that sleaze bag. If I had suspected him at all, he'd already be shackled in the Citadel dungeon. But now it's too late. He fled to his estate. According to the report, he was accompanied by a group of disgraced knights turned mercenaries. Unfortunately, I have no men to offer you. The guard has orders to remain at the Citadel and secure His Highness's safety. Where's this estate of his? I'd like to have a word with him. Man to man. The DuPont estate can be found in the east of the Crown Lands, along the northern road between the Eastern Fair and the Mage's Tower. By the way, my deputy Oligar is at the tower right now. He's searching for a tabular of Tinsa Dungeon for golems. Assist Oligar, and he'll find a way to help you in return. He's an honest knight, loyal to the Crown. You may trust him completely. Very well. If you'll excuse me, I too have my orders from Prince Adrian.
I told him Eugene's a scaredy cat, so the scumbag ran away. The kid missed the best part. One way or another, you've got the Marcella Aqueduct flowing again. You've saved our fair city. On behalf of the Magistrate, I thank you and your men. Your service to the Crown deserves a reward.
So it looked like this is probably where an expansion is. None of these guys will talk to me. There's a sign telling you, you know, other things are this way. They don't even make noise when you run into them like they usually do. So usually they're talking or chattering or whatever. And here we are at the top of the map. I would assume this is possibly where an expansion is going to come in. In terms of the overall breadth of this game, I don't know if we're strictly stuck with the Crown Lands and the Albane Highlands which was a shorter map. This one is insane. So I know there are expansions set to come out with this game uh, and where they're going to be. I don't know. I think I did find one of the spots. So potentially what we've done so far is essentially maybe a third of the overall map. Uh, there may be some other expansions coming in and out over here. But as you can see, we've done a good portion of it. I'd say, well, maybe a quarter. A quarter of the map so far and what we're doing, we're just going back, cleaning up. Checking it out, doing what we can, what they'll let us stream. Looks like a lot of stuff will be coming this way and moving our way down. And we'll see if we even get to where we'll see extra content because there's already just so much content.
I no longer have the strength of my living form. I am weary. So weary. Pray, let me go. Take the treasures that lie by the decrepit tower, and let me go. You have lived too long, Necromancer. The ages have rendered you harmless. Go to your rest. Oh, if only I could abandon this existence. An endless darkness, blacker than night, shrouds the underworld. I can never find peace. Leave me be. No one must see the mighty Nesevra, reduced to such feebleness. Take my treasure and go.
he escaped. I didn't even have the time to set up a magic barrier. The hacker was already gone. Yes, you better be careful. Your job's at risk. Yes, but I'm trying to figure out where he went. Most likely he jumped into another dimension. But why didn't he come back then? What happened to him then? What if he perished? Dear Orly, but he was a criminal. Bludgeon, the bandit leader? Oh, what's going on? I must let Kaythor know immediately. It'd be worth telling one of the commanding mages about the giant. Yes, probably. Maybe Kaythorn will spare me a minute.
Eager to boost your power, enhance your self-esteem and efficiency, reach new heights? Magic has everything you need. Great. I'm searching for a certain mage. His name is Kerensis. He's a mage, like everyone here. Ah, I see. His house is to the left of the tower, overlooking the main square. Many thanks. Oh, and I'll think about that power boost. Rosens. Let's see you... Well, Rosens, you lost the bet. You may commence taking notes for me. There's a certain formula for replacing lost limbs that requires a staggering amount of research. Listen, Syl, my magical senses have served me well many times. Give me another chance. You give me something serious, then you'll win. Something that I can see plain proof of. <sighs> okay. You're going to receive a score of average in alchemy, Silveros. What? I just sensed our favorite graybeard in the laboratory. He was marking your grade on the sheet with a ridiculously long quill. Average for me? That's a lie. And a laughable one at that. Your special sense is good for nothing. I felt it, Silveros. It is right. You will soon see I am a real mage. And a seer. Damn Ulagi possessed me just now. I sensed nothing at all about our alchemy teacher. How am I going to get out of this? Silveros and I are friends, sure, but to slave away in the library in his place? I won't get a wink of sleep this year. I see you standing there, listening. Are you interested in magic? Well, surprise me, mage. Listen then, I have an artifact, a magical quill which can reproduce any handwriting. You use the nib to write, and the feather to erase. Intriguing. Can you show me? Try it yourself. Take this quill, go to the laboratory, and write average next to the name Silveros on Sequester's grade sheet. It is crucial that you picture yourself writing in Sequester's hand. You have my word. It will be exactly the same. Even the mentors won't spot it. Hmm. You mages are peculiar. Go write it yourself. Sequester will suspect me right away, but he wouldn't think of you. The quill is hidden in the yard, under the bench. Has everyone Look, read Kathar's treatise? Margaret staring at His research and suggests the world. Aha! I've been expecting you. You're going to help me. See these ignorant disciples? They've littered the school's ether with their mispronounced logoi. 
You need to cleanse the ether and set a good example for them. Can you see the three misshapen logoi? I can't see anything. Right. I forgot you never had a proper education. Just wait a moment. Wait, what are you doing? Hic sentio logi. Now you can see them. What are you waiting for? Set a good example for my pupils. All you need to do is extinguish the Logoi in the right order. If they start multiplying, you've made an error. Begin with the farthest one. Well, start already. Perhaps I need to... Well, so what? It's clear, but what next? Here goes. Birthday is the most important event of the semester. A good night. Impressing people is my business. Take, for example, Pearl Gudgeon Caviar, served on roast lotus peppers. Ever tried it? Kathon's treatise Look, on the nature here. of things? It, I never doubted for a second you'd be able to solve our little problem. I find a sword more agreeable than magic tricks. For a non-graduate of the Mage's Tower, you did a great job. Better than some of the dunderheads standing before me now.
should we look for this Palatinus? So what do you need? I'm seeking a mage named Palatinus. You two paid him a visit the night before the disaster, did you not? Oh no. Ursula. Calm your britches, Albert. I will tell them everything. Palatinus is a famous alchemist. A genius, in fact. We ordered a rejuvenating potion from him for Albert's mother, and paid a good price for it. But when we came to collect the potion, Palatinus had fled, leaving us empty-handed. That was about the same time the panic started. The hubbub, the shouting. We only escaped by the seams of our stockings. Are you looking for him? Why are you so certain he's still here? He was seen in the vicinity of the tower several times. It is rumored he's completely lost his mind, overwhelmed by illusions and arcane fixations. I must admit, we've given up any hope of getting our money back. Palatinus is both insane and dangerous. It would be better if someone else found the wizard and took care of him without our help. Someone who would be a match for him. What does that mean, dear heart? It means we are going home, my little turtle cake, right now. Find Palatinus. What about our money? Guess what I saw in the refectory after supper yesterday. Roast beef? Did the Meister send you? I didn't take that scroll from the library, and I don't know who did. No, it's not that. Oh, well, whatever happened, I swear it wasn't me. I haven't the slightest notion what you're whimpering about. I wanted to ask you about Brand. Brand? Now that's unexpected. I haven't heard anything about him for three years. Not since he left his grandpa's house. What happened to him? He joined a bandit gang and never had the guts to leave it. He was betrothed to this girl, or maybe she was planning to marry him. But it was no good. He's too scared to propose to her. She's a very persistent young woman. She wants everything to be right and proper between them. And that's the problem. You're a mage, right? Is there any way to make a man braver? An interesting problem, but not my specialty. Now, Nikas, on the other hand... Nikas? Yes, Nikas! Brand's grandfather. He's quite an accomplished researcher in the field. It's too bad he doesn't take on apprentices. demand of you? Capture that darned spirit. Castle Arden is my ancestral home. It's not in the best position right now, but I can't allow How may I be of assistance? What if one of the students tried to falsify someone else's grade in alchemy? Uh, could you be more specific, please? A disciple named Rosens gave me this quill to make an alteration in your grade sheet. Outrageous! These are future alchemists. The purity of their minds has a direct influence on the mixtures. I cannot let this pass without consequences. Give me the quill. that darned spirit. Wait, I know you. I recognize you from the Universal Assembly. Anyone would remember your face. Whom do I have the honor of addressing? I am Baroness Gazella Wilmore Durden. What luck running into you. Why's that? 
I wanted to visit my ancestral home, Castle Ardennes, relive childhood memories, maybe even repair the structure. But an enraged rogue spirit has taken root there. And while these mages are refusing to help me, the creature is wrecking my family's castle. My lady, your words wound me. My disciples are doing their utmost to help you, even as we speak. But Archmage Kaythorn claims you'd need an army to capture this, as he calls it, Air Elemental. According to the Archmage, the Elemental escaped from the Mage Factory. Since he also claims the Mage Factory is suffering the plague, I and everyone else in Nostria would appreciate it if you assisted these students of the much-esteemed sequester in capturing that darned spirit. From the Mage Factory. I need to catch that spirit. and several disciples to resolve this issue. If I started selling my patients at five coppers a cup, I'd be... speak right now. I can barely move, see? There's so much to do. I'm not giving you a choice, wizard. Remember Yvonne? Ah, Yvonne. It's totally harmless. She won't even age while she's frozen there. Her beauty awaits me. You enchanted her so she'd wait for you. Are you mad? I was frightened. I worried that she'd leave me if she was free to. How do I lift the curse? Just stand before her and speak the word care aloud. She'll become animate again at once. Listen, life has been hard on me of late. Perhaps I shouldn't have done it, but I feel as though I'm barely alive right now. We were casting the spell for several days straight, pouring mana all over the quarantine dome over Monpatri. Please, I want to apologize. Bring this unwilting bouquet to Yvonne. I enchanted it for her. Will you do this for me? Despite my vast knowledge and rich stock of Logoi, I cannot express my gratitude. Save your Logoi. I'll visit her once I feel a bit better.
been waiting for an audience with Major Asmus for over an hour. And waiting on... My contrary to my noble nature. Yes, I... Shamak. What do you think of this marvel? The first prototype guardian golem. First, and until a certain component is found, also the last one. Who is that giant guarding? I seem to recognize the mantle. Didn't you recognize the man? That's his serenity, Archmage Kaythorn. The Archmage, is it? I'm here on behalf of Prince Adrian. I need to speak with him at once. Oh, that's out of the question right now. First, the Archmage is deep in meditation. He dislikes being interrupted. Second, the Archmage is in low spirits. As his disciple, I assure you, tis better to wake a dragon than face him in such a state. You seem a wise fellow. Are you a magister? <clears throat> what a strange observation, sir. I am... Oh, it's you. I heard about the epic battle in the Marcellan dungeons. Shame I wasn't there. A shame indeed. A mighty warrior's sword would have been helpful. Horus sent me to find you. I'm helping the guard find the tabula, and the guard will help me defeat Dupont. Those are his instructions. The tabula can wait. I have a different task for you. Help us find some fresh recruits for the guard to restore Nostria's rightful position in the world. Montier sent most of our knights abroad on crusade. There are barely enough fighting men left to guard the Citadel. In a tavern not far from here, you'll find Greflet, a former brother in arms. He's a mercenary now. He commands a troop called the Grey Knights. Rumor has it, he's drinking pure aquas by the barrel, brawling and frightening the maids and disciples. Now, here's what I'm thinking. You have a supple way with words. Perhaps you could speak with Greflet and see how he and his Grey Knights are set for work. Ideally, you'll persuade them to leave their mercenary lives behind and enlist in the Royal Guard. They're strong and capable warriors. If you're able to enlist Greflet, many folks will be indebted to you, and not just the Guard. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sorry, I got distracted. Are you studying celestial bodies? Yes. I monitor the glow and color of the stars, for such is my discipline. I can see you've come from afar. The road that lies ahead of you is also long. Yes, I have traveled many places and will probably visit many more. What are you trying to say? I have a map to a dungeon. It is full of magic artifacts and ancient treasures. I had once thought of going there myself. But I see now that this will never happen. Are you going to sell this treasure map? Of course. It's yours for a mere handful of gold coins. Let me think. Last time something like this happened, I ended up fighting an army of skeletons. Wonderful. You're rich. I'll come back to tell you of my adventures in the dungeon. That map is more than just a dusty old bit of vellum with an X on it. It is a dream. May it come true in your hands.
You seem a wise fellow. Are you a magister? <clears throat> At such an advanced age, you're still a disciple? Such is the will of the elements of merciless time and of my mentor Erasmus. So many years spent as a junior mage, I'd surely have broken down a decade ago. seem a wise fellow. Are you a magister? <clears throat> what a strange observation, sir. I am merely a disciple. I'm still a disciple. Such is the will of the elements. I've been waiting for an audience with Mage Erasmus for over an hour, and waiting on some... Birthday is the most important event of the semester. A good many Oops. Well, now, any overdue books? If not, you may go. Otherwise, return the books to the library immediately. Immediately, I say. birthday is the most important event of the semester. A good many eminent guests will be here. Take, for example, Pearl... Care. Are you okay? What happened? Carensis put a spell on you. I lifted it. Oh, by the gods, my head is 
spinning like a top. Ugh. Karensis asked me to give you this bouquet by way of apology. What? Flowers? He understands. Why would I want his apologies? He treats me as his property. Like I'm an amusing plaything. Ugh. He casts a spell on me and violates my person. Then all he does is apologize. Persuaded. Here you are. Do not be frightened. Come closer. The master has ordered that you not be touched, as long as you remain useful. Watch your tongue, chief. Your hands are soaked in blood. We can sense it. I wouldn't be much of a mercenary if they weren't. Let's get to the point. Naturally. We need to borrow something from the spellcaster's sorceress books. But we cannot enter the mage's tower. The mages are careful to prevent the adepts from entering. We might alter our appearance through magic, but the gates are all protected by the spell of disillusion. We coaxed an ignorant fool from the tower into bringing us notes on this spell. But a group of bandits stabbed him to death before we could procure them. Find the body at the fair. Learn the spell of Disillusion's weaknesses. Sneak into the tower and disrupt the spell. Bring us proof of your success and we will aid you against DuPont. How do I figure out how the spell works? The mage had the notes on his person when he was killed. Read them. Find the weakness. studying the art of brewing elixir. I was so pleased and my heart skipped a beat. With such talent in the family, we needn't pay for a healer. Mine has had little success. Or so his mentor says. On the other hand, he's always Oh my. Why the tragic side is dear fellow? Let us raise a glass of apples to the Archmage Cathorn's count instead. Haven't you noticed it yourself? Our spells are required. My boy wrote to say he started studying the art of brewing elixir. I was so pleased that my heart skipped a beat. Have you seen a fellow here called Fontaine? He's from Rickville. Uh, yeah. He rushed in here just a little while ago. Scared stupid. He's hiding in the backyard, terrified someone's gonna come for him. He's a jittery fella. Fontaine, come out of there. Yeah, right. So you can beat me too? Komos, your master, is looking for you. And for his tools. I know. That's why I'm hiding. What nonsense is this? I'll just shake you out of there. That's better, apprentice. Why were you hiding? I'm trying to stay away from Komos. I got beaten once already today. I don't need a licking from him, too. Who beat you up? These bandits at the fair. I left the carriage behind, too. Go to Rickville and tell your master. But you don't know Komos. He won't listen. I abandoned his carriage and tools. Well, that's all it'll take for him to judge me guilty. Where did these funfair-loving bandits come from? No idea. I ran for it once the brawl started up. People were being beaten, stalls, trashed, things stolen. I just ran. I'm not ashamed. My life is worth more than a box of tools.
Your Palatinus, right? I have a few questions. Go away! Stop torturing me! My soul is afire! Can you not see how I am suffering? Oh, never again will I pursue easy money. The Elementals are charging my shield right now! If you dare break into their cage, they'll tear you to pieces! Neither you nor they can get me! Now get out of here! Venenum, Magnum, Letum, Veritas, Vishta, Amita. Now what do I do with it? Why can't I remember? Curse this poison! Leave me be! Let me focus! Stop pestering!
won't you let me work? Who hired you? Was it Bludgeon? Tenebros? I've got nothing to do with them. Leave! What did I ever do to you? Do you recognize this letter granting access to the Mage Factory? It has your seal and signature on it. Will you speak up now? Yes, the letter is mine. I... I'll tell you the truth. My daughter Teresa is severely ill. Our healers were unable to help her, but I'd heard of someone in Artisania. Keep to the point. What did these visitors want from you? I think I know their names. They promised to pay for Teresa's treatment. In return, I was to create a special poison for them. You see, I uncovered a secret of the Dark Adepts. The Mage Factor named it the Widow's Kiss. I haven't a clue why. The poison drives its victims to fits of insanity. Strange name for it. I told Albert numerous times he needed to use Lorianese glass flasks, but he never listened. Poor old fellow. I wonder if he's still alive. How did you destroy the Mage Factory? And don't waste my time with digressions. Yes, of course. I, I, I just need to focus. Those greedy aristocrats. They demanded I make them more poison. As if one order wasn't enough. Because of them, I was in a rush, and then... The boiling flask burst right in front of me, poison spraying everywhere. Well, they ran, of course. Oh, creator, the sound of those screams coming through the window. Dreadful. So how did you escape the madness? I'm not inclined to believe you. I had time to take the antidote. There was little enough of it, but it was effective. And if my hands weren't shaking, I'd buy the elements. I remember nothing more. Why did I come here? When I found you, you were working on some alchemy. What are you making here? More poison? No, no, no! I, I know I'm making an antidote. I must eliminate Widow's Kiss to the last drop. This poison must be destroyed. It... But wait! Only my retort burst. The second was in Ursula's hands. That's it! They still have the Widow's Kiss! You must find them immediately! Well, your mother is most eager to see us. Trust... This was to be expected. I am so sorry, my bright daffodil. But this is the end for us. Ursula, please be calm. I will deal with this. Now you listen to me. To begin, the disaster was not caused by the poison. Palatinus is wrong. That's not why it happened. Second, we don't have the retort. We left it back at the foundry. I need details. Yes. I will tell you everything. You see, we weren't the only nighttime guests at the Mage Factory. We were just fetching the order when I stumbled upon some horrible ritual and the explosion. We ran outside and that spirit attacked us. It was furious. Ursula dropped the boiling flask. Palatinus saved us. He subdued the spirit with a spell and it let us go. We left the flask behind at the Mage Factory. You say you left the retort at the Mage Factory. What then? We were at Castle Arden. Palatinus fled right away and the spirit... What was his name? Ador. That was what Palatinus called him. That is the spirit's true name, Ador. Unfortunately, before I could command this entity, it called for help. More spirits appeared and we ran. Oh, how we ran. And then, what else could we do? We spent our last coin on that poison. Why should I believe you? You tried to deceive me before. If you need a witness, talk to Ador. He will tell you we're telling the truth. We told you everything. You won't put us in chains after we've been so helpful to your investigation, will you? Compared to the guards who abandoned their posts and this corrupt mage, your moral failings are frankly not all that remarkable. Oh, what has become of the Crown Lands?
I implore you. No, I demand of you. Capture that darn spirit. He's a very important thing. My boy wrote to say he started studying the art of brewing elixir. I was so pleased my heart skipped to me with such talent in the family. We need him. You were right. The device did measure something. Do you understand anything about its function? <laughs> oh, of, of course not. <laughs> but fortunately, the creator has heard my prayers. Amanda, a, a neighbor of mine from Parnak, found me. Let me present her to you and she'll explain it all. Amanda? Hello, Amanda. Let me introduce myself. I'm Amanda, a disciple of the Mage's Tower. Bernard was exceedingly nervous about the device, so I said I would try to figure it out myself. Let me see it. Give me a few minutes. What does the miracle device say? It indicates a strong efflux of dark charms in the village, most intensely by the mountain wall. What could it be? Oh, creator, the mage's tower. A bold hypothesis, but do you have any proof? Grills. There are several of these round waste grills on high, and one of them is open. That means the mages were dumping their magical garbage down on the village. The locals have nothing to do with it. We thought the villagers of Rickville were poisoning us. They've always hated us. But as it turns out, the mages are truly to blame. A bold hypothesis. But do you have any proof? How about this? Let's meet in the mages' tower in the yard by the Market Street. I seem to recall something relevant in the archives. Not to worry. I'll figure something out. Sorry. Oh, you're not from the fair, are you? Did something happen to you? Are you crying? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know about the fair on the Eastern Road? Uh, merchants from Lorien and Artisania gather there to, to trade. No, I arrived from the East. What happened? My father, Edel, went to the fair and never returned. He promised to return within a day with a present for me, but... He's still not back. Perhaps you'll learn something if you're out that way. Oh my. Why the tragic sighs, dear fellow? Let us raise a glass of Aquas to the Archmage Kaythorn's health instead. Haven't you noticed it yourself? Our spells are requiring... My boy wrote to say he started studying the art of brewing elixir. I was so pleased my heart skipped to beat. So I shielded the village daughter with my left hand and picked up an iron bar. Who are you? Another one of those who want to get to the DuPont's estate? So you should know. I only guard it. I have no invitations. Wait. That means you and your Grey Knights guard DuPont? Ha! <laughs> That's right. I wouldn't have touched him with a ten-foot pole. There was one girl, poetess, but he took her from me, bastard. I hear the Royal Guard is calling up new knights into their ranks. Would you like to come back? Let them call up as much as they wish. I'm not going to return. I don't want to be blamed in Lamarok's death again. Never, ever. I'm tired of that story. Who's Lamarok? I've never heard anything about it. Yes, something. All right. I had a brother in arms, Baron Lamarok. 
He had a castle right here under the hill. I visited it quite often. So, one day we had a fight in front of the guests. A serious fight. And some bastard took advantage of that. That very night he was killed. Stabbed in the back with a dagger. In his own bedroom. I was accused of his murder and kicked out of the guard. That's it. Not a word more. And Castle Mamarok burned down soon after. Not by accident, obviously. Someone covering their tracks. But my heart tells me that some clues may have been left there. Wish I could find those bastards. Well, I need to examine the ruins of Castle Lomorok. Might well shed light on the mysterious death in the past. Did you find them? Did you get the retort? No, it's still at the mage factory. Ador knocked it out of Ursula's hands. Oh no. It fell on the floor then. That's even worse. The retort may have been damaged. If so, the poison will start seeping out and spread around the mage factory. And then, who knows how many more people will go mad from breathing in its miasma. The Widow's Kiss has already destroyed the Mage Factory. There's no plague or poison in the Mage Factory. It was wiped out in the course of some sinister ritual. Not by the Widow's Kiss. You can go straight in, retrieve the retort, and destroy it. Open the portal. I can't. No one can. The Mage Factory is quarantined by Kaythorn's magic and a whole army of mages. Besides, I can't even remember how to get to the Mage Factory. My mind's on fire. I need to neutralize the poison, and quickly. But how can I do that with the Widow's Kiss still inside the Mage Factory? Find the retort, and your reward will be generous. You have my word. I should wait until Amanda opens her archives. It seems my worst fears have been confirmed. A short while before the epidemic began, an artifact was brought to the tower. It was excavated from somewhere deep in the ancient crypts on Mage Actarius's orders. Apparently the mage in, in question is our librarian. He's incredibly nasty, but he seems to reserve an especially black hatred for me. He refuses even to speak to me. What are you going to do? Since you're here, could you talk to him, please? Meanwhile, I'll try to find out something about artifacts and curses.
are you in? The rector's birthday is the most important event of the semester. A good many emblems. Some sneak they cut himself a good hunt today. Three silver cups walked away from him. Mr. Actarius, pray tell, what was this artifact you discovered in the ancient crypts? What, again? I'm tired of explaining myself. I haven't followed that kind of research in countless years. I'm a librarian for Ulagi's sake. Ah, that crazy Amanda woman sent you, right? She's always nosing around where she's not welcome. Sir, you need to cool down. I'm here on an assignment from Prince Adrian. We need to talk. Oh, so you know the prince personally. What was it you wanted? It's just that... I want to know a few things about that artifact. What was it used for? Where? And by whom? I don't know where the artifact is now. This was a long time ago. There might be more about it in the research log. You can find it in the alchemy lab. That's just what I needed. Thank you, Mr. Actarius. Some sneak thief had himself a good hunt today. Okay, from three different disciples' rooms at once. Perhaps the culprit came in through the window instead of picking the lock, and made off with his ill-gotten loot that way. That's just the point. It's impossible. The windows were latched from inside. The thief must have used magic then. I can't help you with that. Yeah, and who can? Those cups cost a fortune. The tower spirits can. They only obey magisters. You'll want an appointment with Meister. Thievery? <laughs> Nonsense. It was a magic experiment. Any mage worth his wand could see that. Do you know something about the stolen silver cups? You could say that, but the reality is much more complicated. I don't think an outsider like you can appreciate the essence of my research. I'll try and explain the basics. Surely you're familiar with Kathon's treaties on the nature of things? I'd be surprised if you weren't. My experiment was intended to discover whether one's logoi can affect the concept of a silver cup. And it succeeded. Logoi and the concept of... whatever. You had better return those cups. You'll undoubtedly be arrested if you don't. Um... I admit I do feel a little bit guilty for depriving someone of their valuable possessions. <laughs> Awkward indeed. It shouldn't be difficult to reverse the spell and have the cups rematerialize from the concept. All I need is the right ingredients. Do you happen to have some mana-infused water, a silver bracelet, and a crystal orb on you? I could go gather them myself, but I'm a little wary of venturing out right now. Hardly. I'm sure there's plenty of those sorts of things in the Mage's Tower, though. birthday is the most important event. Eminent guests will be here, and they won't be easy to impress. I've been waiting for an audience with Mage Erasmus for over an hour, and waiting on someone else. I wanted to know who would inherit it. Erasmus said it was obvious that I was the first.
I implore you. No. Can't I you go around? Of you. Capture that darn spirit. It's not in the best condition right now, but I can't allow a rogue elemental to tear it down. My dearest lady is This issue. If I started selling my patients at five coppers a cup, I can. This merchant isn't very watchful of his goods. Let me tell you why you're here. You wish to purchase some new magical equipment, and so experienced an irresistible desire to visit my shop. No. Right now, I need a silver bracelet. Ha! I'm a lousy oracle. I shouldn't even have bothered to try. I'm an excellent merchant, though. I always have exactly what the customer needs. A bracelet made from pure silver at a shockingly reasonable price. Mana infused water, a silver bracelet, and a crystal orb, as requested. Perfect. I had just enough time to reread Iphicletes. 
Kathon criticizes his theory of the world being composed of minuscule particles, remember? Undoubtedly, the Archmage is right. The world is nothing but materialized concepts. You're about to witness a simple experiment that proves just that. I found several books in Oleron's library describing a conceptual materialization ritual. It didn't take long to compile my own incantation. That's all well and good, but you need to return those cups. Weren't you listening? I just said I'm ready to materialize the concept of a silver cup. Oh, can we move on from the cups finally? Just so you know, I returned an extra cup for good measure. I'd much rather you considered the number of books loaned out by the library that never return. That's the real tragedy. I was trying to find the last volume of King Demir's deeds to better acquaint myself with dwarven magical traditions, but it was nowhere to be found. <gasps> Imagine that. Oh, can I'd much... I was... Enjoying the view? Isn't it dangerous to breathe the air up here? Well, uh, wh what do you mean? I mean you're dumping the waste left over from the artifact examination upon the village of Parnak. How did you find out? Did that spirit send you? What spirit? Sax, you poisoned an entire village. That one yonder, down there. It's not my fault! I was following the spirit's orders. Look, that artifact is possessed by a spirit. A ghost. Some... Restless soul. It's been haunting my dreams. Then it demanded I ignore the rules and dump the waste right over there. But why? The water was imbued with a magic that empowers the spirit. Once that water ended up in Parnak, they all got sick. Now he wants to know where the artifact is buried, but well, no one's gonna tell me that. I'm a mere disciple. An exhausted disciple. What's good for this spirit is poison for men. Now you must wait for this spirit to be exercised. You're senseless with a firearm. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Did you find anything out at the Mage's Tower? An evil spirit made a laboratory assistant from the tower dump magic waste right onto your village. That waste was infused with the spirit's power. That's what was poisoning you. But why did this ghost want to harm our village? What did we ever do to him? It's hard to say for sure. 
His slumber was disrupted, so perhaps he wanted to get revenge. What now? Will this entity feed on our strength until we all wither away to empty husks? I don't know the answer to that. However, the spirit desperately needs the artifact, and the mage has buried it somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Oh, why did I get tangled up in all this? There's no hope left for us. If someone could find that wretched spirit and bring it to justice, the entire village is dying and no one cares. How is that possible? We, you work for the prince, don't you? Help us. Amanda said the artifact had been dug up from those crypts on the other side of the bridge.
Excuse me. Are you also headed to the DuPont estate? Yes. I was hoping you were noble. Oh. Oh, sorry. That was unkind of me. I don't understand. Come again? My mistress, Lady Letitia, is a poetess and noblewoman. How on earth could she have wound up in a relationship with that DuPont? The things I've seen at his estate. Drunken dimwits, artless actors, lecherous lords. Milady sent me on an errand yesterday afternoon, and now they won't let me back in. But she would never treat me so. What must have happened to her? Nasty rumors circle the Baron like vultures round Carrion. Brave warriors! Lower the bridge! I must return to my mist. Will you help me find Lady Letitia? Brave warriors! Lower the bridge! I must return to my mistress, Lady Letitia. Stone door leading into an old dolmen. What will I find, I wonder?
Perhaps I need to try another approach. Perhaps I need to try another approach. Perhaps I need to try another approach. spoke the truth. There's something here. found a mummy, but where's the spirit? How do I refer to you? The mummy spirit? My name was Molino. It does not matter now, however. What do you want from me? I know what you need. You want to find your artifact and claim the power within it, don't you? Yes. And yet... I don't see the blazing scroll on you. So that's what it's called, huh? Well, that's something at least. So, can you see it? Maybe give me a hint on where to find it? I can sense it, but I can't retrieve it. The mages buried the scroll and enchanted the place to ward off the undead. You can help me. Wait! Let me gaze upon it once more. Wait! Ghost tormenting you is named Molino. According to him, the mages are to blame for all your misfortunes. The mages defeated him and confiscated a scroll written with some sort of pact. As a result, poisoned water was dumped on your heads from the tower. Here's what I'm thinking. Here we are, helping the spirit, yet he was the one who made the lab assistant dump all kinds of waste on our village. Don't you think he deserves a lesson? He's supposed to lift his curse from your village. That's our main objective. Don't you want to teach him a lesson? I want him to lift the curse from your village. That's our objective. I'll double the reward I promised. Mm-hmm. Now I wonder what the original reward was. I'll think about it, Bernard. Magic size, dear fellow. Let us raise a glass of apples.
So, three signs of Alm. There's two dashes. This huge ocean. Amory, Olma, Dash. Curse it! Oh, familiar face. You look like you want to boost your armed power. Didn't you used to be a disciple at the Mage's Tower? Long story. They kicked me out, but now I've found a real trade. Trolls, raw force, the endurance of stone, and total obedience. I think that last one is a miss. Trolls submit to no one. Until now, I have discovered a spell that can tame them. Once I have the final ingredient, I'll be taming trolls with a snap of my finger. What is this ingredient? The Stone of Worry. I've read that this stone so terrifies trolls in its presence, a troll's mind goes soft as clay. These stones are said to be sentient and hide when they hear footsteps. I also read that they can be found along the riversides in Middle Ruin. A trip to Ruin is out of the question right now. Too many beasts and brigands. But as soon as I can manage it, I'll be in the business of selling trolls. The most important thing is to keep the stones at a distance. Otherwise, the enchantment might get out of control. Luminous core. Did that work? Well, so what? So, three signs of Alm, then a dash, or is it two dashes? Stupid and loud. So, our good Dolo. So, Stonehead, are you tame yet? creaking sound somewhere in the distance. Is the spell still working? Huh. I found a key. signs of Alm, then a dash, or is it two dashes?
We barely shook them off. Uh, tell me, can you see anyone chasing us? Oh.
today's a very important day. But why? Well then, sir, why can't you give me a tabula of pros... Did you find Castle Lamarock? Make your way from the Mage's Tower to the Tavern, then head south. Shoving a mage is a very dangerous pastime. Plague mask from Remedius yet? I haven't. Haven't you heard? We're all about to be sent. Are you sure? What? Never caught any ghosts? Just throw it! The hell with him! I didn't sign up for this. What's going on here? Our mentor sent us to this castle and provided this magic cage. We are to catch a rampaging elemental. Don't be silly! This is no simple elemental, but a primordial spirit! It summoned its own horde of lesser spirits for minions. It's mighty powerful. And this dunderhead left the cage way over there. I spoke with your mentor recently. His guest, a noble lady, asked me to help capture the spirit. With reason, I can see. Really? That's great news. If you could clear a path for us, we'll sneak up to the cage and capture the spirit. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and attack them.
Today's a very important day. But why? Well then, sir, why can't you give me a tabula of prospect? Did you find Castle Lamarock? Make your way from the Mage's Tower to the Tavern, then head south. Shoving a mage is a very dangerous pastime. Plague mask from Remedius yet? I haven't. Haven't you heard? We're all about to be sent. Are you sure? What? Never caught any ghosts? Just throw it! The hell with him! I didn't sign up for this. What's going on here? Our mentor sent us to this castle and provided this magic cage. We are to catch a rampaging elemental. Don't be silly. This is no simple elemental, but a primordial spirit. It summoned its own horde of lesser spirits for minions. It's mighty powerful. And this dunderhead left the cage way over there. I spoke with your mentor recently. His guest, a noble lady, asked me to help capture the spirit. With reason, I can see. Really? That's great news. If you could clear a path for us, we'll sneak up to the cage and capture the spirit. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and attack them! You picked up a plague mask from Remedius. Quarantine outpost to fight the pestilence. My dream job, provided I don't cack it myself out there.
shook them off. Uh, tell me, can you see anyone chasing us? No one. Nothing got broken. It worked. At last. The day has come at last. Something tells me you're the one who wrote all these letters. Yes, twas I. Once, I was known as Count Wilmore, Keeper of the Royal Seal and Lord of Castle Arden. Like many other loyal servants of the King, I was a victim of slander. 
My enemies had me imprisoned in my own castle. I've been looking for a way out for ten long years. During that time, I learned to tame the rats. The only creatures that can come and go at will. You found one such messenger. I believe its name was Armin. I did, and came looking for the treasures mentioned in the message. Are they in this cellar? How selfish people are. When I came for justice, and later for pity, none came. But as soon as I mentioned filthy lucre, all the cellar contains is a couple bottles of wine and some moldy cheese. Gold is not there. I do have some treasures stashed away, though. I'm willing to part with one such cash. The sky, fresh air. Oh, I feel dizzy. All these years I have waited, free at last. But this isn't the end of it. Not yet. They'll pay. They'll pay very dearly for everything. I feel dizzy. Oh. A lady who goes by the name of Gisela told me Castle Arden belonged to her family. Is she a relation of yours? Don't speak that wretched woman's name in my presence. Gisela is my niece. Indeed, the castle is hers now. No one can be trusted. No one at all. By the way, do you know anything about Baron Grab? John or the Father? Fate has smiled upon me twice, and both times through you, my friend. Wilmore. Can't say I'm surprised. Reconnecting with old acquaintances? Just so. There's one connection I need to restore in particular, and I'll need your help. What if I offer to pay you to partake in a sort of private battle. It wouldn't be my first melee. What's it about? It is about my vengeance. I want revenge, and I'm almost prepared to get it. I shall make Baron Gladrin pay for slandering my good name. However, I need experienced warriors, and someone like you. Ah, finally a task I am well suited for. I challenged Gladrin to combat on the fields under the aqueduct. I'll await you there. I could trust Wilmore and join his side, or see what the other party has to say first. I'm glad to see you. Have you heard? Count Wilmore is back in the capital. Yes, I chanced upon him. So, you already know then. That monster has challenged me to a battle in the suburbs. What's so monstrous about him? He's a deceitful snake who's been coiled around the throne for years. He's the royal treasurer and Nostria's top thief. Every treasure he stashed away is soaked in the blood of those he's robbed or killed. My father, too, suffered at that wicked beast's hands. He didn't even spare his own sister, Baroness d'Ardenne. Or her husband? How long did he hold their daughter, Gisela, captive in a cellar? I see. Locking him in the same cellar was a clever trick. Yes. It took all the strength I possessed to seal him in that cellar. 
But it was nevertheless a mistake. I should have killed him. Count Wilmore, you're a thief, a murderer, and an embezzler of the Crown's funds. Prepare to die. You'll answer for that, maggot. Warriors, two arms. Hired a gang of assassins, have you? I'm prepared for your dirty tricks. Squad, to me! Don't just stand there, I need your help. I'm the one paying you. Looks like the battle has already begun. Look at the blackguard. Courtly schemer. His hands are soaked in blood. My friend, join the fray and you'll know my generosity. It's time to strike.
You did the right thing, and that blackguard is in custody again. I thought I was prepared to kill him, but I serve the law. The court will decide Wilmore's fate. I'll make sure his punishment is just.
Looks like the bandits have been having a party. Are there any survivors? Smart to hide. Who are you? Well, I came with a friend. His name's Edel. He wanted to buy a trinket for his daughter, and then those rascals showed up. I hid beneath the stall. I was scared to even breathe. They put a noose around Edel's neck and took him away along with some others. I saw it through a crack in the boards. They'll probably want a ransom. We are simple folk. There's no gold to be had from us. Since you drove him away, maybe you could find my friend as well. His daughter, Elmira, will miss him badly. Where can I find them? The artisanians might know something. The merchants try to speak with those brigands. They mentioned some pact, but those dogs just laughed and told them where to stick their pet. It wasn't somewhere nice, either. The bandits left soon thereafter. Never touched the artisanians, though. A pact between the merchants and the brigands, huh? Now that's interesting. The conversation with the survivor has made it clear that Cedric's brigands took the mage off to their lair. I must find him.
Today's a very important day for us, my lovely. But why? I finally screwed up my courage to ask you out on a date. A mistake. A mistake with Cedric. Mistakes are unacceptable. Un... Search. We wait. My boy wrote to say he started studying the art of brewing elixir. I was so pleased that my heart skipped the beat. Hey, poor fellow. How are you? Look, I found your tools. Wow. That means I can go back to Rickville. Oh. And Kamos might not wallop me now. Now you can safely return home. Thanks a bunch. I bow low to you. Kamos is quite the heavy hitter. My scroll, the magic that bound it has been disrupted. It is finally mine again. What about Parnak? The village will be purified, and it will be safe for the people to return. And that Sax fellow can sleep easy. What happens next? I shall use this scroll to revive my body. Not this one, naturally. I shall have to conduct numerous experiments first. Never before have I worked spellcraft of this kind. Rest assured, the scroll's power will not be wasted, even if in the end it is insufficient. So if you cannot produce enough power, you'll be up to your old shenanigans again. Naturally, if the circumstances warrant. Which means I should destroy it. That's the only way to be certain you won't harm the living ever again. No, you wouldn't dare. Stay back. Back, I say! Don't you dare touch my scroll. I will take care of this myself. I swear Parnak will suffer no more.
Just like that? Sounds like quite a simple... I assume not all of your merchants and goods have returned from the fair. It was horrible. Plundering and butchering innocent people in broad daylight. There's no keeping them in check. Hmm. A whisper on the wind told me your merchants have some arrangement with the cutthroats. I'm not aware of anything like that. Your affairs are none of my concern. But I'm searching for these bandits' lair. There are a few issues I need to settle with them. Perhaps our interests align in this case. Their gang leader is Cedric. I'll pay a bounty for his death. That certainly isn't out of the question. Get yourself some clothes from those crates over there. Meanwhile, I'll issue a few orders. What am I going to do with these rags? Simple. You need to pretend you're one of them. Cedric has an impregnable hideout among the rocks. If they suspect anything untoward, the entrance will be closed. You need to get in there, don't you? Go ahead and disguise yourself. Don't you have anything less... smelly? <laughs> the perfect disguise. I'll show you their hideout on your map. Head there as soon as you can. Remember the passphrase, lemon fudge. Fudge? What's that? Today's a very important day. But why? Because today, I screwed up my courage to ask you out. My boy wrote to say he started studying the art of brewing elixir. I was so pleased to my heart skipped to be. So I shielded the village guard with my hands and picked up an iron. I solved your problem at last. Indeed. I'm already feeling better. Has my disease abated? You can return to Parnak now, along with the other villagers. Oh, I can't believe it. Long and long have we waited for this day. I can breathe freely at last. You saved us, and I care not a whit how you did it. Good luck, Bernard. Stay safe. We are living in dark times, you know. Good to see you, friend. If it wasn't for your timely assistance, we would all have been doomed. We're planning to return to our home village soon. Life will be even better than before. You'll see.
I don't remember seeing you before. Lemon fudge. What? <sighs> Are you one of them rookie villager kids? Yeah. I want to join your rough and tumble gang of outlaws. Ugh. Trolls utter. Well, it's up to Cedric who gets in. Open up. Let him through. It worked. This is Cedric's lair. Time to act. Hey, who are you? I've seen you at the Mage's Tower. Lower your voice. I'm a dark mage. Well, in a way. I'm actually a disciple. Still, I know a thing or two. Get to the point. The bandits don't know what they've settled on top of here. This ancient tomb emanates magic. All it needs is a little nudge and it will begin. What will begin? Spirits will arise. Restless spirits. We can use them against the bandits. The spirits will immediately attack those who desecrated their tomb. A simple ritual is all that's needed. The black flowers of death grow all around here. Lay them on a tomb in one of the caves, and it will begin. All by itself? That's what they said at the lectures. Or at least that's all I remember. My family has no gold for ransom. I already told you. Calm down, old man. I'm not one of them. By the four elements, will you save us? Stay low, old man. I'll find a way to get you out of here. Oh, creator. Creator. 
Dupont often leaves instructions for his hapless assassins. so complicated. I must memorize them if I'm to steal the crystal.
Akrandat Sarpanar. I don't understand. Cut that. I don't know if you can understand me, but these people desecrated your tombs. Arditama Vimrat. And you should drive them away. Anante. Thank you.
The gang was holding some people captive. I need to release them. Cedric's roving band of thugs are no more. You're free. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I have nothing to pay you with. They robbed me blind, deaf, and dumb. We'll settle up one day. But how can I return to Elmira empty-handed? She'll be so disappointed. Trust me, old man. What matters is that you're going home alive. Cedric's gang is no more. That's good news. I will pay you generously. If you've never been to Windy Port, you'll be welcome there now. I'll order the elevator open for your use right this instant. It's just a small patch of land beneath an overhang by the seashore, but there you'll find rare goods that don't make it to the fair. Excellent. One more thing. Our trade delegation might have another job for you. As long as you're prepared to face certain risks, let me know if you're interested. Are you ready to hear our offer? Great. Let me warn you at once. Everything related to this assignment is strictly confidential. Go on. There's been some kind of catastrophe at the Mage Factory. I don't know the details yet, but the city's been quarantined. No one is allowed in. We can't afford to miss out on this chance. The Mage Factory is full of priceless inventions, but our mission is to retrieve this particular one. A special tabula meant to awaken the King's new battle golems was left at the Mage Factory. We'd like to get our hands on it. That sounds like the theft of Mage Secrets. I am placing my trust in your abilities and integrity. Name your price. Twice the bounty the mages will offer for your head. But even at that price, I'll need to think this over. Uh, there's nothing more to discuss, then. If you change your mind, talk to Didier the Golem Master first. You should find him at the quarantine outpost.
twice. A remedy for every ailment. Piles. King's evil. Incontinence. That's perfect. Medicine, medicaments, medical. King's evil, incontinence. I've purchased your wares before. Life's treatment it was. Good afternoon. Head into the elevator, are we? Are you headed for the port by any chance? Why do you ask? Oh, it's just a trifle. There's a young woman who lives there. Her name's Jeanette, and I'm Kramer, the merchant. You might remind her of me and my grain. Why don't you just go yourself? Uh, how can I? The artisanians don't let anyone descend, in light of the threat presented by Cedric the Bandit. That's according to Damien. Curse him. I've already paid for the grain, and soon it's gonna rot. But if you could talk to Jeanette, if the elevator is still working. You can go up whenever you want. Did you see my notice? I'm so glad you came. These lands are supremely gorgeous, are they not? I can't say I noticed. It does seem like a good place for setting up a defense. As an artist, I couldn't ask for a better location. It's so beautiful, but windy, as it says in the name. Would you believe it? The wind swept one of my paintings right off the cliff. And the client is very demanding. They're not just going to wait. And I cannot simply go down and get it. I had a falling out with the residents once, and now they've banned me. So awkward. My only hope is that some kind passerby will oblige an old man infatuated with the sea. Troll is living in the old grotto right down Come in. There. You're free to pass. Well, I never had any plans to visit anyway. Wait, please listen. What's wrong, buddy? Bandits ransacked my shop, and now they've taken it over entirely. 
Wait. First things first. What shop do you mean? I'm Dominic, a merchant of the Royal Trade Guild. I used to deliver goods to Odilon of Marcella, and since there was plenty of demand, I got one of the locals, Rick, to join me and open a shop of our own. We sell the same stuff as Odilon. Weapons, equipment, scrolls. We were doing a good business. Until that Fisher rogue appeared, drove Rick off, and took over our shop. No one here will stand up to him. Who's this Fisher fellow? I've never heard of him. Everyone's dead scared of the guy. Rumor has it he's got monsters serving him. Rick told me he had something up his sleeve to use against Fisher, and then he disappeared. Can you scare Fisher off for me? I'll reward you. On the honor of a royal merchant. I swear there was a troll in the grotto. Oh. And Fisher tamed the blasted thing. find that kind of money. No use asking Dominic, he's too stingy. Rumor has it Rick has some money stashed away. Dominic's a coward. He's probably gonna lose his shop anyway. I'm not so sure. He knows a thing or two about the ocean. Remember Cedric's gang? Brave Rick says those. Oh.
Now the trolls have been dealt with, I need to find the cache. So... I've had such a good week. Not bad at all. Wish I could say the same. Look at that.
Well then, sir, why can't you give me a tabula prosedunction? Ugh, I mean, tinsedunction. Yes. Greflet is innocent. Here's the proof. So Greflet was framed for the crime and exiled from the guard, and now serves his friend's murderer. We have to speak with him immediately. I'm sure he'll be quite eager to help you with DuPont. Today's a very important day for us, my lovely. But why? My boy wrote to say he started studying the art of brewing elixir. I was so pleased to my heart skipped the beat. What now? We are going to restore the good name of Greflet today. Greflet! Knight Greflet, we officially revoke and nullify your conviction of murder in the case of Baron Lamarock. We have recently discovered the identity of the true murderer an assassin in the employ of Armand Dupont. Your discharge by Legate Turbert was unjust. I, Knight Oligar, deputy to Legate Horace of the Royal Guard, hereby declare the reinstatement of your title as Knight. That foppish bastard Dupont murdered my friend? As is his wont, Dupont hired assassins. He recently made an attempt on my own life using the same methods. So we both have our reasons to pursue Dupont. Actions are better than words. Let's punish DuPont together. I'm sorry I was so rude before. The two of you have redeemed my honor and given me a chance to exact revenge. To arms! Today, the Grey Knights fight at your side. Special guests of Master DuPont. Now hustle, you lazy bones. How are art and food alike? In quite a lot of ways. Music can be sweet and bitter and insipid. Today I had such an insipid day, but fortunately you are here. You are my dessert today. Well now. Our peace begins with the desertion of the Grey Knights. The curtain will close presently on much blood, suffering, and useless pleas for mercy. And sure, Lady Letitia doesn't wander off. She knows too much. Her role in our play has come to an end. So has yours.
Victory is ours. Thank you for your help, Greflet. DuPont is hiding somewhere at the heart of the estate. Find him. We'll watch the exit and make sure no one slips past. Oh, and if you see Lady Letitia, the poetess, please say I need to speak with her. Such a gifted artist should wither at a liar's hands. You're not dead yet. You slack-witted buffoon. Was that your best retort? But what should I expect from a nobody such as you? You don't even know who I am. On tracked. See you in the third act. Della, a misbegotten you hound. Around. Where did you yes, go? Yes, my lord. Where's your mistress, Letitia? Della? Do you know where Dupont fled? Oh, I don't know. The Lady Letitia might... They were in a... a... relationship. 
Right now, she's locked in the cellar. Here, I found this key. Could it be the cellar key? Please, I'm begging you. Save Lady Letitia. Rescuing young ladies, Nostria, and chickens seems to be the sum of my profession. It's not so easy. I should think a bit harder. Armin is so sophisticated and knowledgeable. He promised to take me to the Haven of the Enlightened Ones, where we would become immortal, he and I. But there's so much left unsaid between us, and the poems... Silly girl. Are you really in love with him? The man's an unconscionable womanizer. He has more wenches than an archer has arrows. Where is this haven you spoke of, by the by? The haven of the Enlightened Ones? No, I must not speak of it. Letitia, your beloved is a murderer and a traitor. No, I don't believe you. Oh, Armand, why did you get involved with them? With whom? Where's this haven place? I only wished him to be free from the awful responsibilities he took upon himself. But the Haven of the Enlightened Ones, I must admit, I, I don't know its exact location. I've never been there myself. Armand never invited me, though I did ask him several times. That Lindsay, a mere assistant in his theater, she was invited. And I, a poetess, a lady, friend. Not even once, DuPont owns a theater at the Mage Factory. That's where you'll find Lindsay. I'm sure she can tell you where the Haven is. The wench. The theater at the Mage Factory? You've really been in the dark out here. Ah, Della, here you are. I was frightfully worried, Lady Letitia. Cracklet, fancy seeing you here. Lady Letitia, let me get you out of this wolf's den. Yes, but give me a moment to collect myself. It was only yesterday that Armand and I were here together. Oh, well... This is goodbye, DuPont Estate. Goodbye for good. Thank you so much. That was so very kind of you. May Elihu light your way. It's nothing more than a job. An assignment from the Prince. Please, save Armand. I'll see what I can do. I'll take care of Letitia at... Looks like it. So... Well? Here's your winged masterpiece. I'm ever so grateful. To me, my paintings are like children. I can't bear to lose them. They're the most precious thing I have. I feel the same about the warriors who fight and risk their lives for me. Besides, I'm going to have an exhibition soon. In Marcellus City Park, no less. Jeanette? Yeah, 
so. A merchant named Kramer is complaining his grain hasn't been delivered. Oh, come now. How am I supposed to know where his grain is? I mean, I do receive goods, register them, and put the entry in the log. But I don't remember any grain arriving. None at all. Kramer is expecting an answer. He told me to ask you specifically. Ugh, I don't know. The ship hasn't arrived yet. The weather's been poor. Gromis said storms were approaching from the east, making navigation... Ugh, Kramer will simply have to wait. Now kindly leave me alone. Why so skittish, little colt? Didion has gone completely bonkers. Yesterday he was talking about seeing things. Dominic's a coward. He's probably gonna lose his shop anyway. I'm not so sure. I swear there was a troll in the grotto. I seen it myself. And Fisher tamed the blasted thing. You seem unhappy again. Misery is the hallmark of these times. Those darned mice are the worst. <laughs> are you scared of mice? Rick's deathly afraid of mice. They spread disease, you know. One such pesky creature might have come here all the way from the mage factory. George used to catch them, but now... George? What happened? He got poisoned, poor thing. Someone must have been exterminating mice. George caught a poisoned one, unchoked. Except the number of mice isn't getting any lower. Guess those cunning rodents have a nice food stash somewhere or other. Could that food stash be the lost grain? I should look into this. I swear there was a troll in the grotto. I seen it myself. And Fisher tamed the blasted thing. This grain's gone completely rancid. It's as though this bag was left here for the mice. The grain's going bad. Was it left to rot on purpose? Didion has gone completely bonkers. Yesterday he was talking about singing fish. Said he listened to them. Jeanette, I found the sacks of grain and the mice feeding on them. You need to explain everything right now. By the elements, I told that damnable fisher to cover his tracks. Oh! Don't get yourself in a tizzy. Just tell me what happened. I picked up the grain from the ship and paid the captain. On the same evening, I received a letter, a blackmail letter. The anonymous author demanded I call up the grain deal and threatened to kill me if I didn't. He wrote that the grain had been ordered for Cedric's gang. He told me to come to the shore where the boats are left to dry, and I got scared. Show me the letter. Here, take it. You'll protect me, right? I'm frightened. Good sir, aren't you acting the meanie? 
Putting your hands on other people's property and entire shops is a no-no. Eric's flames! Did that merchant Dominic send you? Hmm, all right. Let's talk. Now, first of all, the man's got two shops, not one. The creator says to share one's wealth. The elves told me so. Second, my boys are sick with hunger. Think what they'll do to me if I ask them to leave. Ah. Fisher, I'm giving you one chance to get out of my sight. I'm not going to say it twice. I don't see that rudeness is called for. Even the artisanians show me a certain respect around here. No one tells Fisher to get out. Why don't you go take the air? Or else I'll feed you to the trolls.
Fisher has learned his lesson. When can I visit that shop of yours? Thank you. Give Rick a little time to clean up. Once he's done, you can come see our goods. Aren't you forgetting something, Dominic? All right. The reward, of course. And a discount. There was no mention of a discount. I've written down the details of our agreement, and there's no mention of a discount. Life's gotten so much harder lately. And now, these rumors about the Blight. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen. It seems Kramer ratted me out after all. What now? Will, will you bring me to Artisania for execution, or, or do it right here? Neither. Cedric is dead. I killed him. Then the world's free of one more scumbag. That scoundrel Damien's running multiple gangs to keep everyone under his heel. Now who are you? And why do you hate Cedric so much? I'm Damien's errand boy. I bring food to his cutthroats. It's lemon drops here, raspberry juice there. You have no idea the awful things I've seen. Damien's been feeding an army of ghouls, not humans. That's who I intended to poison with the bread. But the grain never arrived. I swear I'll burn down Kramer's house and goods, as promised. You'll pay dearly for betraying me. Don't be hasty, friend. There's someone else in the port who wishes Cedric ill. He intimidated the port workers and disrupted the delivery. Uh, always gotta break your back when old Ulogi's on your track. It's time to run for the hills, then. Who knows who Kramer will blab to next. As for you, take this gold. I set it aside to pay for the grain, but... Since you've done away with Cedric yourself, it's only fair the gold should be yours. What happens if I give this stone to the captive troll? Maximus did battle with the undead in Nagarajar. I once fought them too. Wonder how our battles compared. Your brand's grandfather? That wimp must have used his last reserves of courage running away from home. What? My grandson is anything but a wimp. Before he left, he declared in no uncertain terms that he intended to be a free man. What happened? He got mixed up with a filthy gang of brigands. As for the rest, it's quite a long story. He fell in love and wanted to marry the lass. But the gang leader stole his bride. I myself stepped in to rescue her. And now, she wants to make Brand a brave man. What a resourceful young maiden. 
If I were 20 years younger, I'd be competing for her heart myself. Uh, what was her name again? Marlena. Marlena, huh? But we must help Brand win the Fair Maiden again. I have an idea. All we need is a drop of fire blood. Do you know about fire spirits? They'd make for an excellent amulet of bravery. On the other hand, my books. What? Never mind the finicky details. Heroes like you generally shouldn't. Tell you what, let's tell your fortune instead. Which do you choose, the book or the sword?
the book or the sword, you said. You could have warned me. What kind of fortune teller would I be then? Oh no, it was your magic that chose this path. Did you succeed in obtaining a drop of fire blood? Yes. Here you are. Oh yes, that's it? Wait a few moments while I fashion the amulet. Step aside and watch a genuine mage at work. I didn't expect one could make a magic amulet so quickly. You must be a true master. <laughs> it's quite a good one, too. This should help Brand. I know what my grandson is like. Hey, I remember you. It's not often someone is willing to help a loser like me. I hope Marlena's happy without me. Yeah, it's all about Marlena. Nick has fashioned an amulet of bravery for you. Put it on. Really? Grandpa? Is he... Is he angry with me? No, he's not. Put the amulet around your neck. Okay, I will. Whoa, I'm getting the strangest feeling. That cleaver dared kidnap my girl. Killing was too good for that swine, but at least I'll see justice done for Marlena. Marlena comes first. My girl, so brave, so smart and resourceful. I will marry her. I can't see why I hesitated before. What if she gives you the cold shoulder again? You will come to the wedding. I want you to see how happy I can make her. Standing here in the blazing sun. Can we at least leave the bridge and find some shade? Stay where you are. Now you're the man I always wanted. This is just the beginning, Marlena. The... Marlena? I told you the real brand was so much more than he appeared. My dear girl, you've always been the only one to believe in me. You can see for yourself how he's changed. Ah, uh, I, I didn't mean that. What I meant to say is that he's become the man he always was, deep inside. It sounds incredible. But he gave me a new ring, not the one I gave you. He even brought me a gift. An Illyrian chick. Wherever did he get such a thing? I have no idea what to do with such a rare bird. Here, why don't you take it? A chick? For me? 
Yes, please accept it. We don't have any money, but an Illyrian chick is, is worth a small pile of gold. Also, thank you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be a sniveling milksop. May Elihu watch over you. Quite intelligent, I see. Uh, I am either, either hungry. You win higher, troll. Give food, half troll. I can see you've sorted out the world of sentient creatures pretty quickly, Stonehead.
you, didn't I? All right, the spirit is trapped. What now? The cage is yours now. I'm sure you can manage from now on. Bring the cage to Sequester's lab. He'll put it on a mana booster so it won't run out of power and... Come on, they're not stupid. They'll figure it out. As for us, we're going to celebrate at the Goose and Logos. Ah, uh, let's go. There's nothing like a well-deserved right. rest. There's nothing left to do here. Hey. I prefer Aquavus. It's my poison of choice, you know? Halt! By the Archmage's decree, entrance to the Mage Factory is prohibited. Turn back. Anything else? I'm not opening the gate. I'm here on a mission from Prince Adrian. Do you know what's going on in there now? Have you been inside? They paid me a heap of gold to guard this outpost, and a second heap to keep my mouth shut. I don't care if the Prince or the King or the Creator himself sent you. There's nothing for you here. Have you picked up a plague mask from Remedius yet? I haven't. Why would I need one? I implore you. No, I demand. How delightful. Now that you've caught the spirit, life at Castle Arden can start anew. I'm glad to be of service. Dearest Sequester, do tell. What awaits the captured spirit? Apparently, this spirit used to work at the Mage Factory. We don't know its true name, and therefore... I suppose we'll trap it in underground storage. There will be an investigation, followed by a trial before the Magical Court of Law. Do you really find these details interesting? It's a long story, one that will last a few years at minimum. Delightful. Well, now I must go. I'll be sure to tell Councillor Montier how promptly the mages rushed to assist me. Naturally, I'll put in a word about your invaluable assistance as well.
How do the mages do this? Edor, I summon thee. I am here. Command, and I will obey. The night you fled the mage factory, was there a ritual? No. I do not want to go back. But I will. I will speak. Elihu's child, hear me. I saw them come from all over the earth. Lost ones seeking unity in the void. They called to it. Their souls reached out for the void. And the void answered. One of them was chosen and touched. And so it came to our world. The spell was lifted. My shackles fell to the ground and I ran away. The blight. I was looking for salvation. Is that all you saw? Who was performing the ritual? Do you know their names? No. 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 I do not want. I will not. Fear. Void. The blight in the void. I see them not. I will not. There were many there like you. Before their souls were extinguished. I saw them. One. Another. And another. Many there were. I witnessed the battle after I escaped. The mage factor woke the golems. He fought off the blight and saved many, and led them under the mountains. So someone survived? I see not through stone. The mage factor took them under the mountains. That is where they hid. The hole they went through was guarded by golems. They fought well, and the battle stopped. The wind carried their whispers to me. They prayed for salvation. They wept, and then, void. Horrifying. I do not want. I will not. Mercy. Do not make me see them, child of Eliu. I think I've heard enough, Ador. You can stop there. It's a shame we met for but a fleeting moment, like a lightning flash in the night. I hope we will meet again under easier circumstances. King Claudius, sovereign of Nostria, defender of the realm, the citizens of this What do we know about the preparations for the expedition to Monpatri, Count? You promised to come to a decision any day. Your Highness, the Archmage is standing his ground. I tried. Ah, finally! So what happened at the Mage Factory? Did you determine the cause? Allow me, Your Highness. 
Do you distrust the Royal Council? Your father never. My dear Count, sometimes one opinion is not enough. Well, what did you find out? The real cause of the disaster was a magical ritual. The culprits are an unknown cult that counts several subjects of the Crown among its adepts. The magic used was not of this world. That spellcraft brought destruction down upon both the cultists themselves and the Mage Factory. Do you have a witness or some proof to support this account? Refugees from the Mage Factory and a captive spirit by the name of Ador. Spirits never lie. There is no better witness. Also, Ador saw the remaining survivors take refuge in the mines. They might still be alive. And if you're going to help them... We must delay no longer. I entrust you with rescuing the survivors. Go to Monpatry, extricate my subjects, and bring them to me. Your Highness, the Mage Factory is quarantined by order of the Archmage Kaythor, as I told you. Since when does the Prince of Nostria bend the knee to an Archmage? I am sorry, Your Highness, but that is not what we agreed. Our agreement stands. But so far, all you have provided me are words. Words that cast suspicion upon the Royal Council as well as the Royal Order of Mages. Centuries old pillars supporting the throne. Prove your suspicions with something substantial. Find the survivors and bring them to the Citadel. Do this, and if all is as you say, I will grant you the pardon you were promised. How do you like my decision, Count? I think that's how we're going to expose the truth. Unthinkable. Anything else? Of course, Your Highness. I fear they won't let me into the Mage Factory just like that, with no papers to show. I cannot help you with that. Ever since the days of Maximus, Archmages have recognized no authority but the King. If Kaythorn has decided to quarantine the Mage Factory, neither I nor the Royal Council are in a position to reverse his decision. In order to get through the quarantine, you need a document carrying the King's personal seal. My father is recovering, but... But how am I to complete this task? If Kaythorn has decided to quarantine the Mage Factory, neither I nor the Royal Council have the authority to reverse his decision. But please, exercise some discretion. We don't want a conflict with the Archmage right now. We're done here. You have your task. I know no way to get into the Mage Factory. Perhaps you could advise me. There's no getting into the Mage Factory, and that, I'm afraid, is the end of it. I've been sending off letters to the Archmage for days. How many replies do you suppose I've received? The Royal Council is powerless here, and there are no legal ways into the Mage Factory. Although, perhaps you could interrogate your precious witnesses. I don't expect they know anything useful, but why not? Oh, you're back to ask more questions. But you haven't brought any aid. Norman has gone to the Mage Factory. He must know a way inside. What is it? Ah, yes. It's really simple. There's a secret passage neither the mages nor the guards knew about. It leads from the foundry straight to the outside. They call me Bludgeon's underling. But all the master craftsmen had dealings with him and his smugglers. Norman was no exception. Could you elaborate? There's a man named Barry. I can't say anything about it without his okay. I gotta be careful, you see. You can find him in Bludgeon's den. He can tell you everything. Well, if he chooses to, obviously.
I told you, there's no more merchandise. The shop's closed. It's not the shop I'm interested in, but the mage factory. A little mouse told me you can take me there via a secret passage. What secret passage? I don't know anything about it. I'm a simple merchant purchasing goods in Floster. Folks, does anyone have any idea what this is about? These people from Marcella are asking odd questions. You can help me, and you will. There are survivors in there. I must get into the mage factory at any cost. And I do mean any cost. <laughs> do I look like a fool to you? I don't know you from this. Support me. If someone were to vouch for you, then we could talk. But as it stands, I know nothing about any passage. you've got. Have you seen the way Bonnie looks at Marlena? Ha! <laughs> I thought Bonnie was gonna cut her open. That wonderful fresh bread from our Garrick. Aha, so you had some too. I sure did. Well, what is it? Tell me, is it pretty? It is. Towers tall as the sky. The Major. The Major. You again. What else do you want? Surely you can see I have work to do. I need to get into the mage factory. Do you know any secret ways that circumvent the quarantine? Are you kidding? I'm head of the guards. I close down every known passage, though there is the tunnel used by the foundry craftsmen for their side business. If you could find one of them, Norman, for example. Did he survive, by the way? He did. I'll be sure to ask him when I see him next. Then can we wrap this up? I've still got lots of work to do here. George will skin me alive if I don't finish on time. Well, what is it? Tell me, is it pretty? It is. Towers tall as the sky. How do you like that wonderful fresh bread from our Garrick? Aha. Uh -huh.
Have you picked up a plague mask from Remedius yet? Why would I Why are you disturbing me? The end times loom before me. I need a way into the mage factory other than the front gate. Tell me everything you know, Ador. I know what it is to be a prisoner of men. It is so hard for me, a son of the wind, to suffer this confinement. But I also know that stone is closer to me than the approaching terror of the void. I so desire to exist, trapped in this cage if I must be, but not to disappear. Do you know anything useful, though? Nothing. I hate spirit. My hands are the color of ink right to the elbow. Erasmus for over an hour and waiting on someone else. At last, my divination proved correct. You showed up after all. I don't understand. I need to talk to the Archmage. Is he available yet? As you can see, he's so busy he won't even speak to me, the eldest of the mentors. But I do not take offense. The Archmage's will is law. So, I'm not the only one you're waiting for. I took the opportunity to interrogate Ador. Forgive me, but I couldn't help overhearing his name as you uttered it. Uh, what this spirit has spoken of, the Archmage needs to hear what he knows at once, and take action. He could, for example, lift this pointless quarantine. So many spell components wasted. So much mana, so much effort. All for nothing. We've been fighting imaginary enemies. Can you believe it? I can imagine. I've been tasked with finding survivors inside the Mage Factory. Perhaps you can help me get past the quarantine. I've helped you already. I spoke with an old friend, Master Remedius. He is waiting for you at the outpost by the Mage Factory bridge. He can help you. Just don't tell the Archmage. Let it be a secret between you and me, all right? If I were you, I wouldn't dilly-dally. You should be on your way. Fools! I've been waiting for an audience with Mage Erasmus for over an hour. And waiting on someone else. Kaythorn's still too busy to see me. For now, I must rewrite the control logos encryption. Just to... Sequester's always working some mysterious scheme. Very important. But 
Why? Because today, I finally screwed up my courage to ask you out on a date. The magic cards divined that you'd accept. <laughs> my boy wrote to say he started studying the Did you find the retort? Do you have it? Not yet, but I intend to. Is there a way of getting into the mage factory that bypasses the quarantine outposts? If only I could remember. That blasted poison. All I know is that the craftsmen of the foundry were running a business on the side. They occupied some sort of a basement there, or tunnel. I recall someone named Norman. A good fellow, albeit a swindler and a thief. But who among us is better? Oh, forgive me. It hurts to remember. Find the retort as soon as you can. Please. Halt! Who goes there? I'm here on Prince Adrian's behalf. I need to get into the mage factory immediately. Open the gate. Ah, you're from the Prince. We've been waiting on you for a good while now. In what sense? Candor will tell you. He's in charge while Remedius is away. Open the gate, you loafers. Call the overseer. The most brazen thief I... First he scales the fence. Stop that pushing or I'll... Oh, wait a moment. Are you heading to the mage factory? Yes. Uh, uh, please, hear me out. My assistant stayed behind at the mage factory. I need you to find him. Slow down there. Who? Why? Uh, I am a golem master. I was to deliver new golems to the Royal Guard, but foolishly forgot the tabula of Tinsidunchen. Without it, the golems will never awaken. Can we stick to layman's terms? Anyway, the tabula is in the hands of my assistant, who remained at Montpatry. If you could search for him, or he might have left some notes. The lost tabula must be found, or else the guard won't get its sentry golems. See? After the disaster, Legate Horus took me in and refused to give me up to the officials and all the rest of them. I can't let him down. No way. How much have we spent today? 7,500. Are you Kandor, the senior mage at this outpost? Yes, that's me. And you're the prince's agent, the one who caught Ador and made him talk. And who now, just as we anticipated, desires entry to the Monpatry Mage Factory. I promise you that is not one of my desires. However, the prince has ordered me to rescue all survivors of the Mage Factory disaster. Have you found anyone? No one. We're prohibited from conducting any investigations, even if we use golems. 
The Archmage has directed us to enforce the quarantine, nothing else. All that's left for us to do is burn mana on cleansing spells and barrier charms. A senseless waste of time and effort. Is that all you wanted to talk to me about, Mage Kandor? Of course not. Master Remedius wishes to see you, away from prying eyes. I'm going to create a portal for you now. Can I assume this portal won't drop me right into a trap? Who do you think we are? The Adepts of Darkness? Go. Here is the hero who made the Order of Mages look like fools. The Prince sent you to the Mage Factory to look for survivors, correct? Precisely. Perhaps you can lift your completely unnecessary quarantine now and let me inside. The Order has its reasons for maintaining the quarantine, even if the King himself should order it lifted. But let's say we're willing to make an exception for you. There yet remains one question to be addressed. What kind of question? Can the Order of Mages trust you? We don't know who else you might be working for, nor what goals you pursue for yourself. The Mage Factory is the repository of our secrets. Unfortunately, some of them have already fallen into the wrong hands. Recover them for us and trust will cease to be an issue. Supposing I agree, where am I to search for these secrets of yours? Kandor will tell you the details. Go. The portal will take you back to the outpost. Mage factory worker? Senior. I've spoken with Remedius. Assuming I'm willing to help you, what do I have to do? Did you see the plundered wagon train on the bridge? I think you can guess it wasn't carrying tools or food. Something valuable went missing from that wagon train, and we want it recovered. What exactly am I to find? Why do you mages always have to be so vague? There are certain facts we are loath to divulge before the time is ripe. Find whoever robbed that wagon train, and... It was sentry golems in the wagons, that's what. And Windyport is the place to look for them. Talk to the locals, they likely know about it. The Artisanians are constantly pilfering from the mages, either at the mage factory or the tower. They sometimes even kidnap an actual mage, if you can imagine that. How dare you! You shall face a magical tribunal for divulging our secrets. I, I do very much dare. I serve the Royal Guard now, not you. Legate Horus will stand up for me. I think I know enough now to proceed. This merchant may know something about the Golem Heist. Therefore it makes sense to help him.
I helped with your shop, but there's also something I need to know. Are you interested in procuring a few Illyrian chicks? I expect a new shipment within the week. The Artisanians stole the latest batch of golems from the Mage Factory. Those chickens may be a delicacy, but I'm here on an even more delicate matter. Where are the golems? If what I've heard is true, they're nearby. Listen, I, Dominic, am but a simple and honest merchant. Fabrics, swords, helmets, a few luxury items for Marcella's market stalls, and what else? Stop talking rot, damn it. <sighs> They have them crated for transport under an invisibility spell. Soon, a ship will come to pick them up. When it arrives, they'll tell everyone to get out of the port, but you could hide. I knew you were in the know. A grotto along the shore to the south. Everyone's afraid of the place, but it's empty. No one will spot you there. This ambush could easily go awry. I'd better prepare. The ships arrived, just as they said. Come on, it's time to call their bluff. Where are you going? They're not letting anyone in. Those artisanian types are inside. Come on, move it. What's taking so long? I misplaced the crate. Fancy meeting you in this place. Here I am, stealing the kingdom's magical secrets right in front of Prince Adrian's personal envoy. If I were you, I'd pause and take a close look at this awkward situation. A close look at what? You don't think I'm just going to leave, do you? These so-called sentry golems you're looking for are a hammer with which Claudius intends to crush Artisania's freedom. Doesn't Artisania deserve to prepare for this attack? Don't we have a right to know what troubles lie ahead? <sighs> we could argue the point forever. But Artisania is not giving up these golems. And you... I could take them by force. I need to get into the mage factory. 
and the mages won't open the gate for me until I return their walking scrap heaps. You have a choice. You can spill blood and return the mages' weapons to them. Or you can look the other way while we finish our modest little heist. To sweeten the pot, we will advise you on getting past the quarantine outposts and into the mage factory, bypassing everything, including the hypocrisy of the mages. Do we have a deal? Not gonna happen. I'm a mercenary, not a brigand. You've chosen well. That depends on what you're offering. It's very simple. The kingdom is rushing towards an abyss and many have their misgivings. The kingdom of Nostria is on the verge of falling. But I assure you, Artisania will stand. We are prepared for every twist and turn of history. The future is ours. And in that future, we shall remember all who aided us when we were in need. I'm not interested in a future history lesson. I need a way to get into the Mage Factory. It's not difficult. There's a man named Barry, who we've worked with for a long time. He's never failed us. He has ways of getting inside. Find him, and tell him the fox says hello. And that's all? He'll agree at once? Precisely. It will suffice. I hope you and I may cooperate again in future. I'm sure we'll see each other again. More than once. The fox says hello. The prince's fixer talking like one of us all of a sudden, huh? What's your business with the fox? You can get me inside the mage factory, and that's where I need to go. The sooner the better. Well, supposing I trust you. You must know the mage factory's been quarantined. But you know how to get around it. You're not afraid of some elderly men in robes, are you? Hmm. Fine. Looks like we have some serious business to take care of. I'll take you there. I know a few things, quite useful things. But you have to do your part by protecting me and, shall we say, assisting me in unforeseen situations. And another thing, no divvying up the spoils. What I take, I keep. All of it. Deal. Then we'll see each other soon. Let me mark the meeting place on your map. At last! And I've got everything prepared here. The mages stationed additional guards by the tower. They suspect something, but no matter. The golems are unpowered, the spells neutralized. We can go in. What are you staring at? Yes, I learned sorcery from the witches of Ruin themselves. The things I know would shiver those feeble beard scratchers at the tower to their core. Now that's a surprise. How did you end up a smuggler, though? To sit in a study, reading books and gathering dust, that's not for me. Neither is brewing love potions for slick city boys. I'm not gonna live with a yoke around my neck. Let those people be content in the herd if they so choose. This is the life I like. So that's that. Can we conclude our little heart-to-heart -heart now? Shall we go? We were expecting to find the smuggler here, but you, for an envoy of the prince to sink this low. What a disappointment. Let us through, and you have my word that this man won't pilfer so much as a bent quill. Forget it. Ugh. The Order put its trust in you once, and this is what's come of it. A dirty smuggler on our doorstep. You're no less a criminal than your new friend. 
You should be locked up in Crucis. Both of you. Golems, shackle these crows. And if they resist, attack.
Well, there it is. Your thrice damned mage factory. You want to go back already? I do. I don't like any of this. Everything in here has changed. And the smell, it doesn't smell of death or a charnel house. Somehow it's worse. Damn it, you go your way. After I take a look around, I'm gonna scoot while I'm still in one piece. I'll leave the passage open, but you'll have to make your own way out. The mages can choke on their beards for all I care. I'm not setting foot in here again. What else? Keeping this portal open isn't easy, you know. Since you have a clear view of the entire mage factory from here, have you seen anyone, uh, anything alive in there? We have, but that I can only reveal at the Archmage's bidding. Hurry up and use the portal or you'll have to walk the whole way back. Looks like the poison is seeping out. Ugh. Toxic. I need to take this back to Palatinus. Well, found something.
What a smell. As if everything had decayed. Like an echo of something.
Now this is unexpected. I rushed to get here because of the quarantine just to find the three of you already here. What's going on? We wanted to awaken the golem so they could protect us. Harvey tried it without a tabula. As you can see, it didn't work out. I shouldn't have bothered. We didn't find anyone, not up there, not here. The voices we heard were a figment of the imagination. You might be hearing actual voices. I've heard the survivors hid in the mines. Prince Adrian ordered me to bring them back to the Citadel. Really? Well, that does make sense. There are monsters roaming around the main entrance. I've never seen anything so terrifying. Perhaps they sense the living people inside and are lingering beside the bars like ravenous hounds. <laughs> Thankfully, they can't enter. Those bars are heavy. Monsters, huh? You better get out of here as soon as you can. I'll take care of the monsters. No way. I came here to find Lindsay, and I'm not going anywhere without her. She might still be here with the other survivors. Are you heading for the mines? Let's do it together. If you defeat those monsters, I'll open the entrance for you. You can't do it by yourself. If you need help, talk to Harvey. Maybe he can awaken the golems to help you. <laughs> I'm sure he won't fail a second time. Or Rato here. He knows a passage to the mines that bypasses the main entrance. <laughs> Handy, right? <laughs> Bold as ever, huh? Stay behind me and try not to become a snack.
How did it... Better to leave this place. Alive. The assistant didn't make it, but according to his letter, I need to find the barber. I should watch out for the sign. So... It's starting. The tabula wanted by both royal engineers and artisanian spies. Who do I choose?
correctly spent. I'm so sorry. I failed you too. Thanks anyway, Harvey. I want you to know I expected more of you, though. Is that all? Well, there I am. Thanks any.
I'm coming! Lindsay! You should have waited for me.
Lindsay, my beloved, you're alive. Why do you? Nor. <laughs>
Find her. Ah, blast it all. You made too much noise. Gather the wounded and don't touch anything. We're going straight to the mage's tower. Well, now when the danger is past, you stay here. I might have rescued you from the mines, but that doesn't mean I've forgotten what you did. You will answer before the Order of Mages for assaulting my apprentice. If Candor had died, I would incinerate you on the spot. Your darling Candor attacked me first. Now stay out of my way, or you'll be bunking alongside him in the infirmary. I have no choice. Defend yourself, Nave. The tower's energy field has been disrupted. That creature is dangerous. From now on, I will keep it under my supervision. As for you, I'm waiting to speak with you. Believe me, if it weren't for the Archmage. What do you think, Colin? I can't spare the time to hear your report. I know what you saw. And I know what happened. I know why you entered the Mage Factory. No matter what the Prince has asked of you, there's not a single living soul left at Montpetri. The creature you brought with you will stay here. Rest assured, I'll take all the necessary steps to prevent this scourge from spreading outside the tower. But what do I do now? The Prince specified that- First, you don't need to return to the Citadel just yet. You have no evidence that will appease the Prince in any case. I'll notify Adrian that you have been delayed. And second, we have a common enemy. They call themselves the Enlightened Ones, or the Cult of Unity. It was they who destroyed the Mage Factory, and tried to assassinate you at the Batil Gates. You must already be on their trail, yes? I tried to catch the Baron, their leader, but he escaped through a magic portal. And I tracked his movement. DuPont is hiding deep in the south, not far from the abode of the Witches of Ruin. It's possible the Witches are somehow involved with DuPont and the cult. Find them and get to the bottom of it. I'll give you a permit to pass the outpost. Take this as well. It will help you find items related to the cult's ritual. Collect and bring them to me. Go. Is this Void One understanding us?
hey, wait! Is that you, Sax? Can't say I'm thrilled to see you. I know, but please listen to me. Parnak is in big trouble. That's already sorted. Molino's spirit won't bother you again. They've got a new disaster on their hands. Parnak's been taken over by bandits. We've got to help them. Is that true? Why are you so bothered? I... I I'm ashamed of what I've done. I'm not a bad guy, but Amanda told me the village has been occupied by bandits, and then rushed to help them. But what can she do? from the tower's gate. I've never been to the mage factory. Today's a very important day. But why? Because today I finally screwed up my courage to ask you out on a date. The magic cards divine that you'd accept. I'm thinking of pulling my doofus out of his study. They brought into the Wait. We need to talk. Ursula, if memory serves, to what do I owe the honor? Listen, I am a spy. I was sent to Marcella to infiltrate the court and uncover royal secrets. Unfortunately, I succeeded and married Albert Crespin. It was through him that I came in contact with Palatinus. That's quite a confession. I'm impressed. If you don't give me the retort, my employers will kill both me and Albert. He knows too much. He's also a kind and dear person. I've come to love him for real, even though you won't believe me. If it weren't for me... Please. I can't lie to him anymore. I'll disappear forever, but I can't let him die because of my failings. Hmm. I'll think about your request. I don't like it for some reason. You're not getting anything from me. Oh, creator. Why? My soul. It burns. Wait. Go away. We need to talk. Fine. It's yours. You saved us. Thank you. Now, if only they'll forget about Albert once and for all. There is no way for me to thank you properly. Except for this jewelry. It's the real deal and quite valuable, too. Please accept it. I really don't think I have any use for jewelry. Please take it. These trinkets are meant for noble ladies to wear. But me, I've always been a different kind of lady. I hope we see each other again sometime. Farewell.
Your order has been delivered. Thank you. You'll get your reward this instant. You've been a great help. I was. But Didier the Golem Master will lose his marbles if he doesn't find the tabula. I feel sorry for the man. No problem at all. Do you really think we're so cruel? We'll just make a quick impression of the tabula, and you can return the original to its owner at once. We'll even clean it for you. No one will search for something that's already there, and everyone will be content, right? Thank you for aiding us. Here's your tabula. Have you read it? The formula is a valuable secret, but not everyone knows how to read it. Uh, yeah, wh what am I blathering about? Thank you so much for your help. You're my savior. Yes, I'm called that occasionally. Terrified that Bonnie is Loggy's spawn. There's nothing to fear. Anyone can tread on a peasant's toes. Anyone can tread on Bear a toes. peasant's toes. Where I haven't any shoes. Where I haven't any shoes. You're here. Did you come to help us? I spoke with Sax. He's really worried about what happened in Parnak. Oh, that's Sax. I asked him to bring golems. But since you're here, you must already know what happened. Yes, he told me everything. This is terrible. The bandits have taken the villagers hostage, and Bernard is there too. Some Bonnie lady is set to be in charge. I wanted to talk to them, but I... I got scared. There's nothing left for us to do but to watch and wait. I'm terrified that Bonnie is loving... There's nothing to fear. The man to won't let any harm come. Wait a second. Oh, it's you! Oh my, I never thought I'd see you again. Life's full of surprises. But Bonnie, what are you doing? Leave this village and its people alone. Alas, that is out of the question. We need this village. I'm going to turn it into a den. One as good as bludgeons. You'll see. Sorry to disappoint you, but you really have to leave Parnak. This village doesn't belong to you. Really? 
Well, neither I nor my boys agree with you. Right, guys? So that's what you think, is it? I've only just found this new home, and I'm not leaving. No way. Looks like a friendly conversation isn't going to get us anywhere.
Bernard, how have you been? You must have been terrified here without me. Oh, Creator. I didn't see that one coming. You saved us once, saved us twice. How did you even find out about this new calamity? Sax pulled me aside at the Mage's Tower and told me everything. He deeply regrets his actions. Good grief. If that's true, I guess just let him in. We have to thank him properly. Oh, there's no better protector of Parnek than you. We will praise you in story and song. Here. I was gonna give it to Sax, but since he never brought those golems, and he's not here himself, 